Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Arroyo. And I'm Rihanna Peters. And you're watching Panther News. So welcome to all of our new viewers. Um, if some of you don't know, uh, in our past episodes, we've been talking about the forensics team. Um, they had some pretty big um, awards that they got in their uh, past uh, competition. So we have Stephanie, who is also a forensics team member, and she's going to give you, you uh, give you guys a description of what forensics um, is. So for those of you who think forensics is about CSI, it is not. Forensics allows students to develop the skills to speak powerfully and persuasively in front of a large audience, as well as learn to think critically, explore all sides of an argument, and formulate, formulate evidence-based, rock-solid points of view. And so, forensics definitely prepares students to excel in college, and the team competes in their competitions with other forensics team members, um, periodically throughout the school year and students then have the opportunity to gain their membership with the NFL not the National Football League but the National Forensics League which definitely is of big recognition with colleges and universities. So now we're gonna shoot to Anna Marie Olpen who is also on our Panther News team if you guys don't know and she is interviewing Akiar Zaman. Hi everybody, my name is Anna Marie Olpen and I'm here today with Akiar Zaman who I'd like to congratulate for winning first place two weeks ago in Novice Original Prose Poetry. So here we're just going to ask him a few questions about speech and debate and forensics. So Akiar, who we also call AK, I'd like to ask what inspires your pieces? Uh, what really just inspires my piece is just life and the community I live in and the people I'm around on a daily basis. And how do you prepare for your pieces and for the competition? What I really do just to prepare for the competition, I just practice my piece a few times and then just listen to some music just to soothe and calm down. Do you get really nervous before? Just a little bit, but not really. Do you have any like weird rituals or something you do right before you go up? You know, I just do some jumping jacks and listen to some music. You know, same old, same old. <laughs> Same old. So what's your favorite, like your favorite event to compete in? I really like to do speeches because you get to talk about issues that you think are important and you can inspire other people. So has forensics helped you in other areas of your life or school? Yeah, forensics actually helped me with my public speaking abilities. Now I'm more comfortable talking in front of a group of people that I don't know. That's really cool. So now we're actually going to have Akiar freestyle for us a little bit. So stay tuned for that. See, I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, but they never came true. I guess I was tricked, but in the future I'm going to be on top. Now watch my dreams come true and nightmares come real. I always got to rhyme even when I'm eating a meal. Hoping for the day that I'm going to get that deal. Hoping that will make my family feel happy. That's the only reason why I started rapping. I'm just trying to rhyme. I hope nothing bad happens that can destroy my ambitions. They told me I couldn't do it, but now I'm on a mission. People keep throwing punches at me, but they keep missing and missing. But I get them with the right hook. I'm trying to get people hooked without writing a hook. Because I don't need those in my songs. Why hate? Am I doing something wrong? I'm just trying to get this money so I can stack it like King Kong. But the cash is for the fam. Without them, I wouldn't be who I am today. But hey, I guess everybody's going to hate. But that's okay because I'm past that like Steve Nash. Now I do me while I try to get this cash. But still a good boy working hard in class. Don't know what's the right path. Stay in the studio or work on math. Doesn't really matter as long as I can live my dream with my friends and family on the side because they make me feel like a king. Thank you. And now on to other news. Seniors, remember that your UC applications are due at the end of this month, specifically November 30th. And not only UC applications are due, but also other colleges are due. So if you're interested um, in going to college, we hope that you are keeping track of the colleges that you want to go to when their deadlines are. I know lots of early decision deadlines are approaching, so keep a lookout for that, seniors. Uh, seniors also remember that your general scholarship uh, forms are due by December 1st to Mrs. Wilhite. Um, scholarships are a huge deal, guys, and Mrs. Wilhite is helping us out majorly. Uh, 
getting a scholarship will definitely help the financial burden kind of what colleges colleges are very expensive these days so try to lift that price up oh well you want to decrease the price um, with the help of some scholarships you can receive so make sure that you get that form filled out and turned into Miss Wilhite as soon as possible and now on to another subject for those of you who don't know a little bit about Rihanna um, in my opinion she's a very talented film producer, uh, director, photographer, and she's actually taking a film course on Pomoja, which is an online site, which is connected to our IB course. Um, and she is asking for some help from you, our viewers. So I am reaching out to the SAI students, um, particularly uh, the females of SEIS. I'm looking for two actresses who are in the age range of 10 to 13. I am making a horror film that's going to be four to five minutes. So if you're interested in debuting your acting skills and helping me out in my film, I'd really appreciate it. If you want more information, you can send me an email. It's Rihanna, R-E-A, in an A, dot Peters, P-T-E-R-S, at StocktonCollegiate.org. So if you email me, I'll send you some more information, and I really appreciate it if you can help me out. So if you're looking for your big break to become an actress, make sure you contact Rihanna as soon as possible. Students and teachers, remember that there is no school this Monday because it is Veterans Day. I know we are all super excited for that. So, and don't forget that school resumes on Tuesday. It's a B-Day, so we hope that you have an awesome three-day weekend, and we'll see you next week.